Erotic.com. Welcome, travelers, to the fringes of reality, where the strange and mysterious meet, and the thin veil between fact and fiction is torn. Welcome to the Forbidden Frontier. They ended so abruptly. They're so polite like that. <laughs> and and, 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 uh, and finished. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the uh, chat, right? So, Because yeah. the chat is, they, they would be on point like that. They're ready for the show. They're ready. ready. The They've show. been waiting. I mean, we're right on time. <clears throat> uh, thanks, Alan, Alex Jones, for joining us today. <laughs> hey, man. You want? You, yeah. You can totally come on. Alex Anytime Jones. you want. Yeah. Anytime. Anytime. You want. Apparently, he's talk, calling the shots. Talk he's about calling Nephilim? the shots around I here. Mean, yeah. Well, he would. I'm sure, he would. He, I'm sure he's, he's got actually, something to say. No, he's actually. He actually knows quite a bit about that stuff. I'm sure. Not surprising so, at all. Yes. Yes. Uh, but apparently, he's calling all the shots for us. Oh, so, thanks, okay. boss. <laughs> Maybe eventually he'll line up uh, the names of the shows and the people that are on the shows correctly. <laughs> mm. but, you know, the correct Jeremy kind of shoots down the whole narrative when it's <laughs> quartering started FNT. <laughs> a little bit, a little bit. That's great. Let let him go. Let him go. Let him cook. We we need better detractors. We really do. Yeah. So. um <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, I I feel like crap, uh, but not as much as I did yesterday. So yeah, you sound a little good. little congested or something's going on over there. Yeah, I you know I can't call it the con crud because I haven't been in a con in t two weeks now. So where'd you get mm. it? I don't know. I went outside. <laughs> so that's a problem. You know, a bunch of people on that's... Twitter told me to go outside and touch grass, and I did, and I got sick. <laughs> Those bastards. Yeah, probably got it. That Teaches day. you to listen to people on the I internet. Know. I know. Damn it. Uh, welcome <laughs> to Forbidden Frontier. And uh, let's start off the show. What we just discussed, Adam, we need to shame Y Files right now. Absolutely. Y Files, shame on you. Where Look, we love our, you. We love All you. Right? We love you. But we love you. Absolutely. Where's but our that's Anunnaki? why we have to shame you. Where's our Anunnaki Where's episode? Where's the Nephilim? I typed Nephilim, nothing. Giants? Yep. I saw that. I've seen that one. Every video. Nephilim, I keep nothing, hearing like. Zero. Hecklefish going, we need to do a Nephilim or an uh, Anunnaki episode. He's all, yeah, we're going to get to that. And then, you know, we're waiting. I know. Anunnaki, you know, come I on. want him. So come on. You know what? Chat, I need Think you to do us. something for me. Look, I know some of you watch the premieres. They're fantastic. I mean, they hang out and chat, and you get actually get to chat with them. They're awesome. Watching brand new Y Files videos, it's awesome. I, I, anytime I they're premiering, I try to jump in the chat. You need to uh, shout out. The world. Right, Nephilim. Where's the, the Nephilim? The world needs an Anunnaki. Anunnaki. What are you hiding, AJ? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah what, where's the information, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thinking, I'm thinking that too. Well, yep. shame, shame works. So we're, that's what we're trying. It does. Uh, yes. Uh, and we love them. Uh, <laughs> hey, uh, so we're going to talk about the Nephilim. We're going to talk yeah. about the Nephilim and yeah. giants, uh, the men of renown, heroes yep. of old. Heroes, heroes of, old. of old. Yes, indeed. Yeah, and uh, their connections to mounds and uh, all sorts of religions and mythology oh, okay. and possible bones found and uh, Abraham what, Lincoln, know, Abraham Lincoln, uh, mm -hmm. and and how many trucks of dirt it would take to make. Uh, I forgot the name of it because I'm just going on sixty percent right now. One of the Ohio mounds. How many trucks of dirt it would have taken to build it? We'll talk about, we'll break down the I mounds. don't know, but there's a Krigler mound in Missouri, and I want to go there. The you Krigler mounds. That's okay. a thing. I'm, I'm glad you specified it was in Missouri. It is, yeah. Okay. Not, why? Like, not somewhere else. No, it's in Missouri. <laughs> I don't know why. Okay. Uh, that's where it is. 
Right. But it's the Krigler mounts. Do I get to show up and like show my ID and I like get full access? You think? I say. That's yeah. what I heard. But I, I, mm, I think you should. I'm like, oh, we've been waiting. Krigler. Here's the mm-hmm. shovel. Go check it out. <laughs> I think you should. <laughs> Just hand shovel. <laughs> yeah. It might take me a while. Yeah. But that's, you have while. to do it that way. Yeah. So yep. it's, it, God, that one in Ohio was Okai or something like that. That's what it was called. There's 10,000 mounds. So you can't expect me to remember all a lot of mounds. There's, there's, there's Poverty one. Point too. Uh, we can talk about in the Serpent Mound, but yeah, there's a L.A. Marzulli documentary where they broke down the math of like, and uh, Randall's done this too, uh, where they broke down the math of how much dirt had to be dug up and how they dug it up. So when we get into that, you'll you'll see how ridiculous it sounds. Not trivial. It's not a means. trivial amount of dirt. It's a stupid amount of dirt. Uh, hi, quarterback. Hey, what's up? I'm ready to talk about this. I I found this subject really interesting because it's one of those instances in like the Christian Bible that it just kind of happens and then moves on as if you know all the details about everything it's just like yeah you know there are giants that in the in that time and after and then blah 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 and it continues and you're like wait 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 what was that you said there were giants there so right. it was interesting to kind of look into that and then the different theories on what the Nephilim actually are from different religions and how they interpret it was interesting to look into so yeah ready to ready to talk about it yeah what's up adam i feel the same way i i when i was doing my research of the nephilim there it was i i went right into that it's always sunny where the guys you know connecting all the love the lines and it's like well this connects to this and that actually makes sense because i know that this exists from this other episode that we did you know under underwater alien bases to um ancient humans that might have coexisted with other non-humanoids the elongated skulls with the mystery dna that they found was in the parentage of one of the skulls that they found the dna wasn't human like what could it be and it's like this nephilim research actually kind of supports the fact that it was potentially a a, a nephilim uh, back in the day uh, of the the past like they were giants the the red hair when we were doing the the giants um, it's just there was so much connections that I was it, it was so exciting. It was fun because I I know all this back history. You know, I'm starting to gain that like the book of Enoch yep. of knowledge about this. Yeah. the And then the book of Enoch, I I've heard of, but I didn't really know what it was. And it's interesting to find that like the Christian religion doesn't really recognize it as part of the gospel. But there's a certain a gospel uh, what, old, old testament what 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 is the there's one country in africa oh that, uh, what was it like, i just i just were they well they they recognize it as actual gospel they're like yep that's part ethiopia? of the bible ethiopia that's it is that what that's it is what it ethiopia yeah, the ethiopian, ethiopian branch of christianity yeah. within the uh, dead sea scrolls there's the book of giants so yes oh yeah cool yeah. So, and those are, God, help me, religious people. My brain is apocryphal. Is that yes. It? Yeah. Okay. It's not of, a, of the mainline book. I'm yeah, trying to, very well, 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 they also, there's the, the, the word Nephilim, right? And it, mm-hmm. it's derived from other similar words in other mythologies. And you also hear, uh, 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 you know, the, uh, the Anunnaki names, Aleel. And uh, th- those are derived from other places too. It's pretty fascinating. This is a rabbit. We could do multiple shows on this. Yeah, easily. like if you that's, think about that's it, good. if you if you boil it down, if you if you're not a religious person or doesn't don't know anything about Christianity, if you just break it down to the idea of it, right? The Nephilim, considered in one of the the mainline con, uh, theories on what Nephilim is, fallen angels or angels, right? Something from outside of our planet comes here finds the daughters of man thinks that they're beautiful and then mates with them and that's what makes the nephilim right well so nephil in hebrew means the fallen or to fall right? yeah but it but in uh What's aramaic that? uh nephil means giants so mm-hmm. it's kind of like this perspective thing of whether it is the fallen like fallen angels or the fallen like from the sky like space yeah. aliens so you know any of those kind of another things or of, giants there's yeah. a lot of different another form of views, yeah views of yeah. of what it could be 
right? So, mm. but th those are the two bases of Nephilim, the the word itself. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. The the three theories on it that I heard uh, that I, when I was studying it was the fallen angel theory that it was angels that came down saw the the daughters of man mated with them. The well, that, other one that's actually is, in. We should quote that and talk about it because that's yeah, actually yeah. in the Bible. Okay. Yes, yeah. Yeah. It is. Out, um, the the second one, and this is all from the like the scholarly Jewish uh, studies from rabbis and Christian theology. I think uh, the Christian theology believes that it was the fallen angels that came down, and that's what the sons of God basically are. Or the uh, and then there's the idea that it was a the line of Cain. So the line of Cain are the sons of God. And it basically references that. And it, it, it implies that, that the, the line of Cain is like the, the morally bankrupt fallen line of humans, which it doesn't quite make any sense to the, uh, the idea of it. Cause then if they came together and they took wives of men, that's just what humans do. So that, that why are they set apart from that? All right. And the third one is they are, old kingdom uh like royalty basically so instead of the word giant meaning a giant person it's like a giant as in uh, a more renowned person something that is giant in people you know in people's thoughts they're they're a big person Celebrity and it's the status. descendants of the those old kings the old heroes of old yeah, or whatever they, right? they had uh, longer lives uh they did get sick like normal people. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that's the if, that's the if three you're a Lord that, of I, the Rings that I saw. Fan, uh, Numenorians. Yes. Numenorians. Yeah. Numenorians. There you go. Right. If you're aware of Tolkien's lore, which borrows heavily from the Christian Bible, by the way. There's yes. another theory that um, what's his name Zechariah Sitchin was trying to put forward, and that is four hundred thousand years ago, an alien race left their planet and came to earth to basically mine gold and use humans or homo whatever they were at that point and kind of make us do the mining for them kind of like mm -hmm. stargate in a sense and um they, they go into this it was it's not necessarily debunked it's just very heavily skewed he, he i mean i feel like each of these stories have taken all of the different information about the nephilim and skewed it to what they want to fit it in yeah. as the puzzle piece of like how they explain it um and this one is actually interesting because carl sagan did a um he, he did a report at uh, what year 1963 it's called direct contact among galactic civilization by relativistic interstellar space flight that's the title of it it's very long-winded and sciencey uh, but there's two two lines i'm going to read oh do you have them all right pull up the next one so this this is just the the title. All right. So it says it follows that there is the statistical likelihood that Earth was visited by an advanced extraterrestrial civilization at least once during historical times. And I'll pull up the last one. This is Sagan, Carl Sagan. This is Carl. This is yeah. Carl Sagan who's saying this. Well respected. Then, yeah. Right. Exactly. I mean, it's Carl Sagan, right? He's right. he's like top G. Uh, all right, so the statistics presented earlier in this paper suggest that the Earth has been visited by various galactic civilizations many times, possibly 10,000, 10 to the fourth, during geological time. So that's insane to think about, right? Carl Sagan said this. So, like, Earth has been visited, statistically speaking. That's what that's what that Way was Way before saying. we were even here. Right. So not this. this came out. I think after that Sitchin guy was uh, trying to push this forward um, about the whole 4,000 years ago or 400,000 years ago, these aliens came and uh, created the Nephilim, which were essentially the offshoots of them that were breeding with the humans. Yeah. And, and that was seen as unclean is thus like the fallen angels um uh, this this yeah. is just kind of a one of the lines of what it could be and then the giants were actually the offspring of these right. the you know the between the two uh the, the humans and the the beings that came here to mine gold uh so that was a, that was another one of the interesting storylines 
that's the thing in in the Bible. It, it says when here I got it right here. Hold on. Yeah. You. I right. have it. I can read it right here. When the, man began to increase in number on the earth, and daughters were born unto them, the sons of God. So these other beings that aren't human. They're not. They're not uh, daughters of of man, or sons of man. Uh, they saw the daughters of man and thought they were beautiful, and they married them, any of them they chose. Then the Lord said, my spirit will not continue. I can skip down to the Nephilim part. Uh, the Nephilim were on the earth in those days and also afterward. So who are these sons of God? No, read the next one. Read the next one. Uh, or the next one. Uh, and afterward. When the sons and afterward, of God when the sons went of God to the daughters, went to of, the daughters of, yeah. of man and had children by them. They were the heroes of old, men of renown. So, like, all I can think of is the guys holding the bag, right? The, the people coming to save. Like, uh, when, when I first yeah. read this, like, what is the heroes of old, the men of renown? Like, what is this? What, what could this be? And if human society, civilization was completely ravished and completely set back to the Stone Age, completely reset, and someone came along, built Gobekli Tepe, and said, this is how you're going to survive. This is how you're going to... What's the title th of this? ...thrive on this planet. It's Genesis 6, The Flood. Yeah. Genesis yeah, 6, The Flood. Genesis 6. Now, you can, you can bring this down, I guess, uh, the direct contact. Because because we're kind of moving on. It's I, it's interesting that it that it it's at the beginning of the flood story how it sets up all of that Noah and everything so right. Enoch it's Enoch is actually uh, according to my studies Enoch the and the book of Enoch is the great 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 grandson I might have plus or minus one great of Adam and Eve and he's mm -hmm. the great grandfather of noah so right, he the, was the line of he, seth he, right so he he's noah's great grandfather so you know noah this whole story of the flood coming you know enoch mm -hmm. and the book of enoch was about the nephilim and the giants and it was kind of like talking about the nephilim like yeah they were there the giants um goliath D goliath was a giant you know, he's he's another mm -hmm. giant reference in the Bible. So, like, the Bible does reference these beings of, well, it says great men of renown, uh, heroes mm -hmm. of old, or these giant human beings uh, that existed amongst us. Yeah, there there was that, uh, again, I'm screwing it up because my brain's fried right now. But uh, when the Israelites were scouting out their lands, right? You know, ah, you're freaking soaking wet. Sorry, uh -oh. my cat just jumped on me. Oh, I was gonna say, did you pee your pants? Oh. No, did your cat pee your pants? No, he. I peed myself. <laughs> I, I peed myself. <laughs> uh, so, well, Israel Israelites were scouting out their lands. They saw giants, and they're like, "Hey, we're not gonna go there because they, oh. they, you know, we are to them. We're grasshoppers to them. Like they'll just crush right. us." I, I um, got that line somewhere. Let me see yeah, yeah, and that's one from the video that you shared, and it was. Uh, it was talking about the Dead Sea Scrolls and the Hebrew scholars at the time were had different interpretations of of giants, essentially, of the Nephilim. I got it. Were, Numbers 1333. Yeah. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Enoch, the one that super chat put in, there, just put in there. Uh, which came of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers, and so we were in their sight. The sons of Enoch. Enoch. Anunnaki. Oh, Anunnaki. A lot of similarities there. Mm. A lot of similarities. Uh, I, I'm Nephilim from the waist down. Okay, that's Jeremy's <laughs> line. That is Jeremy's line. All right. Buddy. Above average. Above average. <laughs> well, how do you know? Well, maybe the Nephilim, maybe they were so angry because they had little itty bitty peepees. <laughs> maybe. Maybe they like got the, the whole body, but then they got the, the, the penis of just regular dude. I don't think so. And I'll, let me let me tell you why. How did they messed up? How did if they you mate look with at, the human ladies? Look, if you if you look at well, probably painfully, uh, if you look at all of the statues, right? Please. Easter Island, Gobekli Tepe. What do they, they? What do they got? They got their hands proudly presenting something. I mean, in some of them, they're even mm -hmm. you no, know, showing. Well, it, 
that's all okay that's all my pan pan spermia <laughs> <laughs> my pam spurn yeah. theory mm. which, you mm. know the, the serpent mound is a big sperm and they uh you know even la Marz- marzuli is like well it's not fertilizing the egg it's consuming the egg I'm all, it kind of looks like a sperm fertilizing an egg that's what it yeah. does looks a lot to me not like a serpent like a sperm fertilizing an egg and that falls into the be fruitful and multiply, and multiply which you can talk listen not a christian but you can talk about the lost tribe of israel uh and uh maybe they built it and that's th- there is a connection somewhere here right uh too many people are talking about big people walking around and it could simply just be there was a big hominid that walked around that just died out true over time. yeah that's true uh could have been there's entire species of hominid will never know existed and and to be arrogant enough to think well we'll know every species of animal and hominid that's ever existed no we won't no we won't there's for like, one too freaking old the crust moves uh bones get disintegrated bones get yeah. disintegrated uh, it's it's hard enough for us to find stuff we know was there you know yeah exactly. uh, the, the vast amount of time that there that there has been is it there's so much like, like that the the statistical uh, likelihood of the earth being visited how what was that it was like 10 10 million 10 to the fourth 10 to the fourth, 10 to the fourth. It was 10 thousand right 10 thousand i don't know what 10 to the fourth is you just tell me oh, that's I think, like, I think, it, I, it hurts I, my I brain know. to think that in that in those you need x-ray girl in those uh parameters right that that time is so vast there's so many different things that could have died like grown lived had a civilization died well visited here died like never gonna know everything they talked about okay so um that one guy in the video was talking about the uh israelites and others um finding ruins finding like so ancient people giant ruins giant ancient ruins that were like right had doorways that were 18 feet tall and stuff and of course they would think they were giants Right. Uh, but they could have just been giants of technology. Like, why would you build something that big? I was showing my son the 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 mound, right? And I'm like, I told him how many trucks of dirt it took to fill it. And he's like, why would they do that? And I'm all, because <laughs> it was easy for them. They did this mm-hmm. shit because it was easy for them, not because it was hard, because it was easy. Um, the, the mound in Ohio <clears throat> was 390,000 tons of dirt. So if you fill, I think a truck that had, that could carry 40, 40 tons, basically the line of trucks back to back would be 200 miles long. Holy shit. 200 that's miles long. One mound. Well, it's, oh, it's, it's, and that's it's with trucks. Area. It's not just the mound. It's the whole area in Ohio. I so see. There's, there's okay. multiple mounds, but then they also leveled all the dirt. So there's a plaza that's completely leveled. To, and Ohio's for I've been through Ohio. I've driven many times. It's flat as shit. All right. It's like Ohio's like this. Yeah. There's oh, yeah. nothing in Ohio. But they still level it out within two inches, right? So, but that's it was probably level a, you yeah. know, 1600 years ago, or no, it was more than that. It was 1600 BC or something like that. But, um, yeah. And, and their theory was that they made these mounds with, uh, shoulder bones of deer tied to sticks that were that were just dug out in little buckets so the guy <laughs> well, they did one they dug one out they're like okay we're gonna get a stick and a shoulder bone and we're gonna dig it out <laughs> we're gonna fill up the bucket and we're gonna we're gonna pour the bucket the pile of bucket and then we're gonna stamp down the dirt which i mean honestly wouldn't work <clears throat> that is absurd if you know anything about what and i know very little but uh it, it, about construction you can't just like stamp down the dirt they didn't just stamp down the dirt for those damn mounds there was some way to they were Pack they were it. packing the dirt um now the the native lore is it was giants using giant fucking trees uh you know which makes more sense than you roll it over a like a, a loincloth and a fucking shoulder bone stamping on it you know like, and that it, is so absurd why do you make why, why do they do this they make the stretch so far to be like yeah they just had a stick and a shoulder bone and that's how they made this massive mound and not what if there was and this is totally likely a civilization that lived here before that was more advanced technologically not to like flying around and spaceships and shit like they just had better technology than what we thought they had 
They can't comprehend that. <laughs> no, they're and, like, no, you, you're gonna you're gonna take a little shot glass, and that's how we do it. So even yeah. the most skeptical person out there has to acknowledge that there is now tons of actual evidence that the older shit's better. Yeah. Like it degraded over time. So there were better mounds. Like these mounds might have not been a precursor to pyramids. They might have what came after. They might have been what came after. Mm. And it's just the, the technology went downhill as the men of renown who knew about it died out. You know? Exactly. Uh yeah, that, the, the people that escaped the last micronova, you know, the the younger Dryas was a catac cataclysmic that just decimated civilization. And the people that escaped that were, I think, the Nephilim. I think they that was the last yeah, and the people era, who era that they existed. Are hunter gatherers who didn't rely on any technology or farming or anything. Those are the ones exactly. that survived. Yeah. Well, and, and the, the stories go that the Atlanteans, whether or not they were the Nephilim, coexisted on this planet with hunter gatherers that still existed. It's not like, like everyone we do on this planet was, you know, it, this technologically advanced society that the Atlanteans were. They had their society probably in the Atlantic Ocean, along the west coast of Africa, uh, all the way up into Azores. the Mediterranean and around mm -hmm. the Azores, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And you know they they knew that people existed on land that were were not ready or weren't there or didn't want to be a part of that who knows you know but those people survived because there was an ocean faring civilization and probably because you know they were might have been told hey we got to you got to dig down like look at those under underwater or excuse me underground cities in turkey or potentially in the grand canyon i'm sure they exist in other places that we don't know yet you're right. Lots of them. Yes, there are. Exactly. There's hunter gatherers in Mexico. That right. is just next door. They're not uh, far. They're, they're in Alaska. Yeah. I mean, they exist. Yeah. People love watching those YouTube Iberia, channels. Yeah. Uh, that, that, they're all over. And uh, that's, mm -hmm. that, that's what would happen. Uh, <clears throat> society would uh, fall and the people who knew how to build the things would die out. We'd have to and it took us a long time to come back. And let's let's just think, okay, well, was there any hominids before the Ice Age? Well, yeah. Yeah. There were. So what if they lived in places that were covered in ice later on that were just completely compacted and yep. pulverized? Yeah. So, you know, it's... And melted. Look, we, we, we wouldn't even... If we weren't digging for resources... As an advanced civilization, there's so much stuff we wouldn't know about. Sure, they knew about j dinosaur bones, especially here in America, when they, like there was a time where you could just walk around Utah and they'd be laying on the ground. Okay, well, what dug them up? That dinosaur <laughs> didn't die on the ground, and then that bone sat right. up the whole time. Something water <laughs> dug it up. Um, you know, or we think about Boneyard, Alaska. If that guy yeah. wasn't looking for gold. Nobody would know about it. Nobody True. would know. Yes. So um, there's so much shit we don't know. We I, lost the history, man. We lost the history. Uh, science is Am, not amnesia. Well, yes. Well, yes. I'm, That's why I think that the Nephilim, I, the idea of the Nephilim fits in with so many other of the things, like Adam, what you were saying, so many other things we've been talking about is that old, renowned, uh, different species or different, the, the, different from us. Just we like that's what it has how it explains it is the sons of God, right? Men of renown, different, not us. Because otherwise, why would you specify this? Why would you even say this uh, if it was if it wasn't the the fact that it is a different species or a different extraterrestrial? One of the videos that I watched went into describe a liger. You remember a liger? Yeah, a lion and a tiger. And then there's also the T Tigan or something it's like it's the opposite the other, it's the op opposite and the snipe. difference is the dad versus the mom so if it's like a mom tiger or no if it yeah if it's a oh, mom tiger and a dad lion the 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 end result is significantly larger because something that the something oh, that crap. stunts the yeah. the growth in the the offspring is controlled by the mother and when the lion is the dad that 
it, it gets nullified. So the Liger is just massive compared to the Tigon or whatever, the opposite. And they were suggesting like there could be some correlation with that if we are similar enough to whatever right. these Nephilim were that maybe the giant gene allowed our bodies to grow. Like the pituitary gland was, I don't know, regulated in a way that it allowed us to grow and maintain function. Because like the tallest guy ever, he was eight eight feet, 11 yeah. inches or some crazy amount. And he had a, an issue with his pituitary gland and he died at 22, right? Mm -hmm. Really young age. But there's like, could was there a potential like it was just so far down that like something in the dna like oh yeah this there's still like a, a little bit of this nephilim blood right. um but we're too far away away that the pituitary gland just couldn't handle it and it just he that's interesting and that's why in in the actual verse it would specify the daughters of man right exactly because they're hybrids Interesting. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't and even what, think about that connection. There. There's also and there's also references to cesarean sections being used because they couldn't birth these giant babies. They were just too large. They had to be removed from the mother, or else it would have just destroyed the mother. So I don't know. That's also yeah, like that's another thing. Uh, yeah, cesarean wouldn't even cover it though. That would. Uh... Well, I mean. The whole but, the whole giants as big as Godzilla thing was a little I can't believe that. But oh uh, yeah, the hundred and fifty uh, something yeah. feet, the, or no four hundred fifty four hundred fifty feet. feet. I was well, like, that, yeah. that was the thing with uh, with um, David and Goliath. Originally in Hebrew, Goliath was they, they told his uh, measurements. He was just like six eight or something. He was just very tall. Oh, okay. And then like I think King, I may be wrong about this, but King James came in and like his version of it. They made it a massive, like towering, mo like monster, like that. Not like I don't know mm. if it was like a Godzilla, but made it extremely tall. So the original was just like, yeah, he's a he's a big guy. Like David's a small shepherd boy, and he's a big man. And that's that was the differences. So th that's also something interesting because I was kind of going into this this route of the the explanations for what the Nephilim are, like those three that I was talking about before. In like the the translations and how it kind of separates and then i got to the book of enoch and the book of enoch is wild it's like basically uh fan fiction almost of like there's two lines in the bible in in genesis where it mentions enoch and again like it just says enoch like this person enoch and then continues on and it doesn't really like you're like what who's who's enoch and who's this guy like what who's that the Book of Enoch is basically, I would I would assume like old rabbis trying to understand who that is and fill in all that information. So it's like a bunch of different writers got together and made the Book of Enoch, and to explain who Enoch is and where he came from and like where you said like he's the line of Seth, and the the ancestor of David, right? The all and then David goes all the way down to Jesus, right? So they're trying to or, or Noah, Noah. It, well, yeah, it goes Noah. Right, right. Uh, then David, then Jesus. Right. Uh, it, that is very fascinating to me is the translations and the differences and how it kind of changes over time what the original meaning of Nephilim was and how they interpreted it. it it's it's like a, it's like a deep well of constantly changing ideas yes you, you go back in it, it it really does connect to a lot of the things that we kind of have been talking about in different areas you know uh the, an, ancient, ancient an ancient beings that being, existed before us yes an ancient bloodline yep. source flood civilization like, and it's yeah. so freaking old it was old when shit was old so they're they're going you know uh, even with uh with plato talking about atlantis they're talking about nine thousand years ago yeah an oral yeah. tradition so we're talking okay let's be well, i'll just say twenty thousand years ago could be older 
But that's that's uh, that's what um, Graham Hancock won't say it a lot, but Robert Shock, Graham Hancock, uh, West, we're all in the twenty to twenty five thousand year old. Uh, that's where when the Sphinx Egyptian was made. Uh, uh, Sphinx was made. Egyptian, the legacy, uh, the legacy, uh, uh, yep, of the of of Atlantis with the Egyptians. They, all the vases. They, all mm-hmm. the bases far older, and, think, and anyway. it was just a part of the Atlantean Empire, you know, right? That was, you know, pre dynastic, of course. Uh, and, and I think it could be way older. And I've heard, you know, 40,000 years, and that's all believable. It's all believable. And of course, there were yeah. still hunter gatherers around. Um, I think the dating of all the stone temples is just fucking wrong. I think, especially oh, how do you date the stone yeah, temple? I think it's just wrong because, yeah. like, uh, on uh, Malta in particular, that stuff just looks so old, so freaking yeah. old. Mm-hmm. Um, and it looks a lot like Gobekli Tepe, a lot. And and you know, around the world, there's there's um, I say they look like the goons from Popeye. I'm dating myself because like you have to be at least my age to know about <laughs> Popeye now. Uh, used to be a pretty popular cartoon when I was a kid. Hey man, I, uh, I remember I watching it when I was a, when I was a kid. Robin Williams, Popeye. My the my grandparents is had VHS. I love the movie. All right. Yeah. Oh, go watch them now. They're free on YouTube. I was watching a couple the other day. The the most non PC things you will ever ever <laughs> ever <laughs> ever see. <laughs> awesome. Dude. Based on a real okay. guy, by the way. I didn't know that until recently. I didn't He's know an that. actual guy. Yeah. He's an actual uh, a oh, sailor shit. that was that lived was in the bartender. area that the writer. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So he, had the, he looked. Yeah. He looks exactly like him. He has the pipe and everything, and just like yeah. the whole thing. His name was Popeye. It's literally just him. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and the cartoonist. I love, based dude, it off one, of that. Okay, sorry to go on a tangent, but there's a, that's okay. <laughs> at the end, so he's fighting a bunch of Indians, right? They all have huge noses, and he fights the chief, who's a giant, by the way. Ooh. The chief is a giant, ah. and he punches him so hard after he eats his spinach. He punches the giant so hard he becomes Gandhi. <laughs> Indian does. <laughs> I just it's like, like mm-hmm. this is stuff I didn't notice when I was a kid. So he punched him so hard he made him another type of Indian. And I was oh shit, that was terrible. that's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, fantastic. I miss those old times, you know. Oh man, yeah. things were funny. Yes, yeah. that was an. We're, actual, we're going back there. It is a Popeye cartoon that is available on YouTube. You can watch it. <laughs> Amazing. Um, but uh, to to go back, okay. So the so the statues that that have the long noses, right? So there's uh, the one that they found in at uh, Gobekli Tepe that's in the museum in Turkey, mm-hmm. and then there's the ones in Indonesia that look just freaking like them. Then you go to mm-hmm. you go to Easter Island, looks just like them. You go to South America, you see the long noses. That has to come from a certain time because most of those statues, not all, again, what Adam brought up, have the arms that are flat. And they're going right around the shaft. Yeah. <laughs> they're pointing they're like, right towards the shaft. Yep. And some of those statues had the shaft. A lot of them were probably just broken off. You know? Yeah, possibly. Yep. Uh, and Defaced. Carhan Tepe just has a bunch of shafts. Has a, has like a shaft farm. <laughs> it's a room it. of shafts. It's a room of shaft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. There was some there was some worshiping going on, and it probably well, had hey, a what's lot super ex- what's, and multiply exactly you know? what is really yeah. important when you are a small like th- they talk Food about uh, our humans being down to like fifty individuals, literally fifty individuals on the planet when we were like becoming kind of sentient. What yeah. is super important? Multiplying, multiplying, right here. Let's multiply. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Makes sense. I um, w- I saw so many different stories that from different civilizations that I hadn't heard of before um, that it just gives more credence to the idea that something was existing before us. Um, and I, I have a, a few that I wrote down. So the Dogons of Mali, they have a story from people from the Sirius star system. Yes. Who in the, the weirdest thing about this is that they knew about the star system of Sirius long before we like, it was general and it's not even general knowledge about like the Sirius star system, but they, they had details of it that they couldn't have known, right? They weren't advanced enough to know about. It was like, I don't know if it was a binary star system or the, the way that they, they just had information about it, but they believe that people came from Sirius 
the Cherokee Indians in North America, mm -hmm. they have stories of people that are coming from the Pleiades. Now, everyone worshipped the sky. Everyone knew all the different stars. Maybe that had something to do about it. Or maybe there was some sort of truth to that. Like they knew about an ancient civilization that came from a star and brought knowledge. Or uh, maybe they connected that uh, old civilization that came and helped them. The guy with the bag I'm referring to to help them get out of the, the rut after the Uncle Dryas. Like, hey, we're trying to make sure all the humans on the planet are good. You guys good? You know how to procreate? Good. Yep. I see you're doing good there. You know how to yeah. the agriculture? All right. Cool. Cool. You know, in Africa and the Caribbean, they, they, there was this, these people called the, the Mami Wada people. And they had an underwater base in the Atlantic Ocean. And it's like, well, what is that? Right? <laughs> what is that? Well, the Y Files had oh, that whole video muted. about the. Yeah, how would they know about that? Like, how, how would they? How yeah. would they, how would they the know about that? Of underwater base, like <laughs> city. Okay. Yeah. But, and then they started going oh, yeah. into. The, the the fact that it wasn't they weren't just like down there they would abduct people but they weren't just abducting people they would actually trade like there's a story of this woman who who was disappeared for three years she came back and she said i was uh in this underwater base uh what i don't know what it was but i mothered a bunch of children f for these people they they were humanoid they weren't humans and and now i'm back and i guess there's all these stories of these people being taken into the water and i'm like instantly i'm thinking of all the 411 videos that we did and the mm -hmm. video that i was watching starts going into the national parks and how all these people have had similar stories of being taken into the water mm -hmm. by these what like water humanoids and i'm like what the fuck it's insane like they bring up the statistics that we've talked about with the yeah. missing 411 about this being near water and being taken by these beings and all, always there be some sort of trade. Like when they come back, they become a savant of something. Like suddenly they're able to speak multiple languages or they unlock the ability to be a, an incredible piano player, whatever it is. You know, they, there's always some sort of trade in, you know, them, them, yeah, like for you, Garrett, like, you know, you get probed and then you come back and, you know, you get your own show on uh, Blaze, you know? So we, we that's all just know that's, fact. that's just what happened. That, that's yeah. what happened. So, you know, it's amazing. It's wild. <laughs> yeah, it's the guys who made the golden plates. They came down, they probed Garrett and got a show. <laughs> <laughs> hey, golden plates too, yeah. It's a great show though. Let's be that's real. Kidding. It's a it joke. Fun. Okay. It's just a joke. Uh, hey, One thing. Uh, off. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. I could I keep was, going. I was gonna no, no. I just wanted to show you that uh, <laughs> how many buckets to make that one site. Oh yeah, show us. Let's see. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I want to see that. I got the screen. I want to see how it. freaking absurd it is. Three hundred and ninety tons of earth to create poverty. Poverty point, and it is. If I could just skip ahead, you could just see twenty seven million. 857,142 one man bucket loads Stop. of dirt to create the mound <laughs> Stop. at poverty point. It's insane. Sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. So slaves. Bro, Hunter slavery. gatherers did and, this. And <laughs> slavery. All right. there, there's one bucket pile right there. So there's the tool on the left. <laughs> and there's one bucket pile. That is preposterous. It's preposterous. Now, now bring, up, bring up that picture with the quote of Abe Lincoln. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's so, so fitting right so, here because that's crazy. That's a mound, right? Uh, obviously this crazy mound. And that I I found this and I was like, "What?" So Abraham Lincoln said, "It calls worst, up worst worst dictator in American history according to his True. Race. Very very <laughs> much a lot of good points on that video. <laughs> yeah, he does. But he said he he says here, "It calls up the indefinite past then as now Niagara was roaring here." The eyes of that extinct species of giants whose bone fill the mounds of America have gazed on Niagara as ours do now. Yeah. Uh, what? What? Hey, what, Abe, so, what you know? What are you talking, huh? what are you talking well, about? What do you know that I don't? So he knows a lot. And I mean, there was a lot of articles throughout the uh, late 1800s, early 1900s about that. But he wouldn't. I mean, he's a president. He's saying it like it's, it's common knowledge, though. Hundreds of presidents. It's not like they had a CIA going on or anything. But um, 
Well, he kind of created it, like the foundation of it. Yeah. They could have had their, you know. He's like, you know what? Maybe we should uh, lock this information down. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, All right, no, you know. I mean, it's in aliens and, and giants. Let's like, let's make a whole <laughs> organization just to keep it a secret. Right. No, it's, 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 we don't have any idea how many mounds were destroyed. So there's True. there's there's ten thousand in Ohio that we know about, but there were millions, yeah. millions. There was uh, at the beginning of the L.A. Mar- if you can find the L.A. Marzulli documentary, by the way, it's called "On the Trail of the Nephilim." Um, it's like four ninety nine to rent. It's from two thousand eighteen, uh, and in the beginning of it, they talk about a shell mound that was found in uh, Florida, where this kid has some home movies of. And uh, they just went there to play. And this is back in the 60s. So they have some pictures of the shell mound. It's huge. And they were just digging it up and finding artifacts. Like, yep. So we brought an archaeologist out there. And they found some giant bones, but no artifacts. And then they disappeared. And then the mound got leveled. Now, there was a shell mound in Emeryville, California, which is where Pixar is, is where there's an Ikea right next to it. Uh, For those of you in the Bay Area, you know what I'm talking about. Um. And that, that it's it's by Emory, Emoryville is basically the, right next to Berkeley and Oakland, right? So there's pictures of that. They wiped it out for like a shopping mall, a shopping center. Just completely wiped it out. Don't know what happened there. Uh, these were burial mounds, by the way. So there were bones. There were artifacts. Don't know what happened to them. Have no fucking idea. Some of the stuff probably ended up at Berkeley. Um, Vatican's probably know. got some. Mm. And, and people robbed them for the shells. They, they were literally mounds made of like dirt and shells. So people would rob them for the shells. And, you know, and we have no idea how many. Uh, there are, um, I've gotten emails because I've asked, and there are, e- there are mounds that have been untouched, but nobody will say where they are for good reason because they would be touched and screwed up. And if they did find a mound anyway, they would have to, they wouldn't be allowed to dig it up. Right. You know, whether it's on federal land, they're federally protected now because of the Repatriation Act uh, the that uh, Bush one signed uh, to return all the bones. That's that's one oh, of yeah. the main reasons we we supposedly don't find giant bones. But I guarantee you the Smithsonian. Well, the Smithsonian is all, ha, has held out on them like the Indian tribes have had to sue them to get some bones back and they and they won't give them back. They're like, nope. Oh, well, uh, turns out ball. we toss them all into a river, <laughs> into a river. <laughs> Oh. I can't believe can't that's give a real story. <laughs> I was walking in the woods. Uh, my mom's here, and we we were walking in the woods the other day, and we went deep into the woods. And I live in Viking territory, and I stumbled upon this glen, and it is just like a beautiful. We walk, and the forest just opens up, and it's just like this little clearing. And right in the center of the clearing is like a pile of stones. That's like as if a human died there and they piled stones and it's in the center of this like clearing yeah. and circle. Like we were deep in the woods and I'm like, that's gotta be a, like a burial site right there. How big like, was it? Was it like human size, dude? Like yeah. if, if I, if you were to lay on the ground and I piled rocks so that it was like a four foot mound of on rocks top. over, over Oof. you. Yeah. That's that was in the middle of this. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, there's something's there. The, yeah, I, I, I mean, I can't wait many, for the, the technological mm. breakthrough of like making uh, LIDAR small and cheap. Just and like then, my glasses, everybody just could like, just do it. Boop, boop. Yeah. Oh, I'm buying that. We dude. Are, that dude, we're going to hell yeah. In frontier the shit out of that LIDAR when it's cheap. We're, we're, oh, yeah. we're, we're going to get a couple of drones. So that's that's in our oh, budget yeah. this year. We're going to get a couple of drones. And nice. yeah, how I got many mine. Mis- I'm ready to go. How many misidentified mounds are there? You know, how many were just plowed over in farm fields, but yeah. how many are still out there that just look like little mounds of dirt? You know, it's really that's what Johnny Appleseed to- was doing. He was out there plowing down mounds while he's posting all of his apple trees. Okay. Yeah. Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed. Dropping a seed everywhere. Wow. I'm sorry. Damn. Black cloud that was a huge huge super chat and very interesting because I, I i forgot about the watchers so i'm glad you brought that up um black cloud for 199 that's 199 
one night boom. If I didn't have a splitting headache right now, I'd do it. <laughs> Go. Sorry. Uh, it's interesting that in the book of Enoch, the watchers mm. or angels or angelus that created the Nephilim's sins was given man technology like metallurgy and mapping the stars. Then the flood came and restarted everything. FYI, the book of Enoch, God sent the archangels to kill the Nephilim. There's so much to break down with this super chat. Black Cloud, thank you very much. Um, Hail. The Watchers. Yeah. Yeah. That needs to be a movie. Not uh, yeah, that sounds Hollywood. awesome. That sounds awesome, by the way. Well, I want to watch it. Everybody They're down there. They got all those eyeballs and stuff. Dictator, damn good vampire hunter. Okay, Rob Cortez. That, that was decent. That was a decent. Uh, movie. I like the that book. Was fun. Did you read the book? I like the yes. book. Yes. Yeah. No, never, never read the book. But it's have the book. I'm, I, it's better. I'm in the middle of Shad's book right now. It is better almost, than the movie. Almost yeah. done with it. Uh, so yeah. what, what were you saying about the Watchers? Well, the well, the Watchers. Uh, it, there was oh man, I'm I, I there was a a video that I watched that talked about the Watchers and it's like how it could be. Uh, what I was saying before about uh, that alien species coming to kind of seed this planet to mine the gold for whatever, like the Stargate, mm -hmm. basically, theory. And how was it the Watchers making sure that humans were, you know, do everything properly on this planet or mining the gold still or not creating a black hole in Switzerland in, you know, a large hedron collider um, or making new splitting nukes. the you know? Or splitting the atom and you know killing the entire planet and yeah. thus ruining their experiment. I don't know. It's just it's very interesting how the what the watchers could be, and if the Nephilim were in fact not angels, that like they ain't if they were the the offspring that was not allowed to be right. If they were messing with humans and they're like you're not allowed to do that what are you doing and the nephilim were the offspring of like the the crossbreeds yeah. i guess you know if it was frowned upon or not and god allowed, was like hey god's like mm, well, and there's those guys out how many interpretations of them too right exactly. there's the benevolent ones that are like mm -hmm. that help people you know help form society help them farm animal husbandry all that stuff and then there's the cannibal ones that just eat people Right, and it could have been both. It could have been both. Because imagine if uh, somebody was to tell tell the story of human beings, you know, ten thousand years later, you know, hey, they were capable of great things. They also murdered each Terrible. other a lot. Yeah, what great? Yeah. Man. Okay, Ollivander. <laughs> that's how. That's how they learned how to make the rings of power. Ah, oh. by the Watchers. Alloy. They put yeah, two ally. things together. We can make them stronger. <laughs> I have never thought of that. I was just talking about how the stupid that scene was. Myth. God, man. <laughs> I have I hate never hate heard of alloy. <laughs> what is what? Alloy? Mm. Alloy, wait a minute. Woo. <laughs> man, what a pain so in the ass that show was. Bad. I never watched it. Thanks to you guys. Lucky. I know. Lucky. I appreciate you guys. Hey, uh, you, guys, Clark, you guys take the pain. Up. She just gave an update on on what's coming out with season two, and it's going to oh. have things and stuff in it. Oh wow! Yeah, wow. villains. Good. It's going to have villains in it. <gasps> oh wow. wow! Yeah. Are they big... still changing who Sauron is? Yes. Uh, I guess they they cast. Well, we haven't heard anything official from Amazon, so everything okay. we hear is basically through it's the true. fellowship of the fans who main who pretty much is Amazon. They're bought okay. out by Amazon and block. They blocked ah. me. Did they? Can't I think I'm blocked why. as well. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Can't imagine. Why that. you of all people? Really? I am wow. completely tame on Twitter. What are you talking about? The only person I roast is Mark Hamill. Okay, <laughs> a lot. You roast the shit out of Mark Hamill every That's chance true. he gets. Every chance. And I get. and me, and mm -hmm. Dan Vast. You. Mm -hmm. And Dan. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, it's not a f I like you guys. Uh, true, 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 true. Well, we could take the roast. You know, Mark they, Hamill. They don't eat a <laughs> lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised he hasn't blocked you yet. He probably doesn't notice. He probably just muted or something. Yeah, true. I'm glad he doesn't. Yeah, true. Yes, yeah, so you can keep doesn't. doing it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Getting those replies. Sliding those replies. Yep. Somebody's got to just send his granddaughter. Just violence every time. Someone's got to yeah, do it. It's certainly not him. Do it. That's right. <laughs> um, <laughs> hang on. I'm going to call. 
Excuse me. Sorry, Bless guys. You. Sorry, I got sick. I, I marked this time, 1230, on this one video, and I don't remember why or what the what was at 1230. But it was obviously something and important enough that I felt like we should we should watch that clip. Can you bring that clip Which up? Which one? It's Anunnaki, oh, gotcha. Nephilim, and Fallen Angels. This guy's hair is awesome. He's got a very- oh, yeah. yeah. Right. This, the, this is the guy a guy who's got like... Oh, great. Yeah. Uh, the nice, the big- he's got the big like new age house. Like it's, it's, <laughs> it's like I want my house to be a $6 million mansion to make it look adobe on the inside and Neolithic, but still modern. And my hair is amazing. <laughs> Quaff, just whew, blowing in the he wind. He looks like the kind of guy who would be on a Gaia video. <laughs> so true. They're on the right. Dang. Uh, are you? Are we gonna pull? This? Now this. Oh, is I from, have it on. I have it on. Uh, this is from brain. Gaia. We gotta be careful. You got it. Okay. This. Yeah, we got. Yeah, like, let me oh, let shit. me do it. Really efap the sh- shit. Well, it's on yeah. YouTube, which means we can react to it, but they'll they'll hit us. Well, it's it's not even on. Um, their channel it's not gaia it's the fifth kind he's got a million oh, subs so so uh so this is from someone else's video okay gotcha so he pulled it from them body that we see today and in fact when we look at the judeo christian traditions gaia, what they are telling us is oh it is okay yeah is go that on. there was a search for the right genetic formula to oh okay All right i can tell you kind of what they're saying so in in the judeo uh theory they were looking for some sort of vessel on this planet to hold the American, or the, it's not the Americans, the American the spirit. American American. spirit. <laughs> the American no. spirit was made by the Anunnaki. That's right. And the Atlanteans. <laughs> it was perfected no. by George Washington. Damn it. No, I meant, I meant. Uh... 1776 was born. <laughs> <laughs> Fight the Bilderberger. Fight the <laughs> Alex Jones paid me to say that. Um, uh, no, so the the human spirit, you know, they needed a, a vessel. To harvest. <laughs> Sorry, the spirit. Yes, so, the spirit. so that that's what they're talking about here. All right, you could play. <laughs> Hold the power of the human spirit in physical form in this world. And as we went through the Look multiple that hair. iterations, the trial, all right, hair, pause it. No shade. It. No right, shade. Look. At his age, that is a hell That's, of yeah, a dude. head of hair, dude. I, I He's got I all of it. Like that. Yep. True. And his little Buddha. You know, you know, this is just like his entire house is just like. Oh, this it whole looks thing. awesome. Like, I, I, if I could afford it, I'd have a house full of Egyptian Buddha stuff. Too, he exclusively man. shops at Earthbound. Hell yeah. This is like every house in New Mexico that. Is oh, worth more than like two hundred fifty thousand. got he either lives in Malibu, or maybe Santa Arizona. Bay. Okay, oh, you're thinking oh, California. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm thinking, thinking more. I'm thinking Malibu, Arizona, Sedona, or Santa Fe. He's living. Okay, there. Sedona. He's, okay. No, yeah. he's got Santa a house Fe in all three of those places. <laughs> he's, oh no, he's living not just like is it one of them? It's all of them. <laughs> yeah, and they're all identical. It's the same yeah, exact yeah, house. Just he's like, like I just this is my house. I love the f- the flow, the feng shui of it. He's a geologist, supposedly. So he's not like some, I mean, he's a new age guy, but he's a geologist. Right, right. Is he a forensic geologist? No idea. He looks like, (laughs) he looks like he, he works for CSI or he's a bad guy in a Bond movie. I'm not, I haven't decided yet. (laughs) Lethal Weapon 8. He's the villain. Oh, bro. I just watched Beverly Hills. uh, I saw that. I saw that. Oh, so good. Same day I watched Tombstone. Tombstone is such a good movie. Oh, I'm, it's I don't not want to get on a tangent God. here, but it's not in 4K. Love. How could it not be in 4K? How can the that is tragic? Not be in 4K? Tombstone, yeah. Tombstone is not in 4K. No, that's a, that's a shame. It's a crime. Every line in that movie is quotable. It's so good. I miss Val Kilmer. Throughout the eons of history, and among those forms of life, we certainly see reference to Look. giants. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, wait, 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 yeah, possible. Yeah, yeah. Go, go back to that. David and Goliath. There, there's History so many like among those forms of look at that you know he's patting the head of it's not that's a, a bearded, bearded man. man it's a bearded man not the bearded child 
Okay, right? just hear me out. Maybe children had beards back then. Okay. Do you think that's what it was? No, it's perspective. It's like Gandalf <laughs> and Frodo. Yeah. That's a good. That's funny. All right, hit play. Life, we certainly see reference to giants. We see references to the the Elohim Okay, the art on that. A little weak. All right, <laughs> I agree. Yeah. David this was Blatt. awesome. This yeah, was this is awesome. Nephilim in awesome. the oldest records of the Old Testament. In May of 2019, this is the, host dol of the Dolmens. Lines, Regina Meredith led a team of researchers um, with the help okay, of Okay, you can pause it here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know what this is. This is where they. This is where they. They studied the sound by oming inside Ooh. of a dolmen. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's like there, there's a picture I posted of a Sumerian king. It oh, might yeah, be Gilgamesh. Them. I, I don't remember who it was. That was in the Book of Enoch, wasn't it? Gilgamesh. It was one Gilgamesh of the names of like the story. renowned Gilgamesh is another another, another yes. Nephilim. Mm -hmm. Could be yes. the story. Of Which Gilgamesh also, is I don't know if this awesome, is Gilgamesh, but this is another one of those you know ancient pictures that is a depiction of obviously a giant. Now, it, is it more what Garrett was saying earlier about how? They're just these grand people of renown. Like, were they just kind of famous and just ultra, like, well known? Mm. So they were giant in in like your, their mind of who these people were, or were they literal giants? Like, yeah. it's depicting them to be. Is that what the, maybe is that what the art is depicting? Is is, is depicting right. is the the giant stature is of it, a person, is it literal? not his actual is literal it, size, right? But, is that what it means? Maybe it does. Maybe. Possibly. Possibly. I'm I blanking on... Oh, come on. Help me, chat. I'm like, what is the king's name? It's not Elil. It's the other name. And I can't think of it right now because my brain is at 40% What is capacity. chat? I don't know. That's oh, yeah. Patagonia. I don't know. Oh, you posted this, this one, one too. That's, that's Patagonia. Is that on this? I, I, I saw it and I was like, that's cool. Look at look at this! It's the freaking giant Indian chief. There was an Indian chief that was was Anki. supposed to be a giant. Mm -hmm. Anki, thank you, Anki. Uh, and, uh, and you find that that's the other word you find a derivative of. That's not exactly the Anki. Patagonians, but that's kind of what was written about uh, by a couple of explore, explorers. Anki, um, Anunnaki, Anki, Anunnaki, Anki, and Elil. Uh. One was good, one was bad. Uh, one liked humanity, one really didn't. Uh, but no, no. So um, I forgot who, who, whoever explored Patagonia, like wrote about, yes, there were giant people down there. And uh, they South were America, that was also the well, case, right? Yeah. Well, that's, that's down in we South, talked about that. South America. And yeah. they actually, there's pictures of them. They, they, well, I mean, like, like for quite some Amazon. time. Yeah. But, um, that so that puffed haired guy uh in later there was a long video but i watched it all and he was talking about in the himalayas he was there and actually the the locals or the the monks or whatever took them to see the bones of the giants of the giants that they, that they had that according to these monks still live in the himalayas like they're still out there that uh, they don't even speak a language they just are uh, maybe just going by instinct just like animalistic and mm -hmm. just living on the land uh, out in the himalayas somewhere so and then the story of the kandahar incident yeah the kandahar the giant. giant is that is that uh, yeah yeah the the kandahar giant another you know these the the, the cross over between the giant stories that we already kind of talked about yeah. and the nephilim really f there was a lot of cross cross stuff here it's cool yeah i, I and i i think there uh, honestly i think there's there's not just one nephilim i think there's giants and nephilim and uh it, mm, if, okay and it could be a composite of just a lot of mythology no disrespect to anybody who likes the good book or any other good book it's just this is how i view things i think there's th this i don't think the, it discounts it I I, no i think I, i'm i'm interested in the historical accounts and the mythology and how it brings us to the truth whatever the hell the truth is and i'm i 
promise you the truth is way more bizarre than we're even talking about because we have no, like we're going on little pieces here we could be mm. massively wrong and a lot of it could be bullshit of course but that's but it's okay to talk about it here that's that's the whole problem is, right i don't with, have any with, proof of anything that i've no. said <laughs> but it's like this is the research of all the videos and stuff that i've read about this subject but we know uh, the someone em the emerald coast archer said chief tuscaloosa and his son black panther yes it is who he thinks i'm talking about uh, the giant chief uh thank you yeah uh, emerald coast yeah the spanish one, one of one of many giant chiefs that were talked about as a matter of fact the ohio mound culture was it was basically the giants were the kings they were the kings and that makes sense yeah what are you gonna do <laughs> Yeah. What are you, you going to do? But those, it's not but, like there was guns or... But they were more of a... The... And that's where the word fallen comes comes into play right. again. Were they fallen as in fallen angels? They fell from grace? Or were mm. they fallen warriors? Or were they just... Right. Did they just fall? Did they die? Die out? And that's what some Hebrew scholars believe. Uh, is they just died out. Uh, and that's what I believe. And I, yeah, I think some of them were really nice and some of them ate people. If they're yeah, around. the story of uh, the story of them eating people that's that's something that uh i i there was these giants that were not violent but then the food got scarce right now. yeah and then they were like oh well we're just gonna eat the humans and then the humans uh, were like there mm -hmm. is there is pulled a, pulled a love lock cave a and just started, just killed yeah. them all <laughs> yes exactly so there's a y files about uh, neanderthals mm -hmm. yes that one yeah. Have you seen the I one was about, about to bring that I, up? I, yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it. So drop, the, the, drop it on me. The Y Dude, files so about just came out. Calls, uh, it, yeah, it's it's pretty recent, right? And it's not mm. like uh, it's just a theory, right? That they weren't this human-looking race with like just the big foreheads. They they looked mean and scary and hairy, mm. and uh, they were stronger than us. And they killed they killed humans, uh, and we survived by. <clears throat> The meek shall inherit the earth. Hiding. Hiding and running from them. Uh, and uh, yes, but also there's the giants with the two rows of teeth, the six fingers. Um, we've seen art of that places, but we haven't seen a skull yet. The only skull I have seen is actually on ancient aliens. This is why this show is good. There is point parts of the show that are very good. You might not like their hypothesis. You might not like Zachariah Sitchin's hypothesis or um david ikes i but like I the idea of it but i think some of the stuff they build up is really interesting and should not be thrown out with a bad hypot with a bad you know just like well where it's all leading you know um so david hasher childress in the giants episode that's from season god there's so many seasons now it's like five it's really one of the early early ones he goes to a school goes in the back room opens up a cabinet pulls out a giant skull said they're here Hmm. oh yeah and he puts it right next to another skull and we uh, you know there's been giant skulls right and then you look at the elongated skulls that brian forster has found those are freaking bizarre yes there is some yep. that were just cradle head boarding yep. and then there's some that aren't and the sockets well, they, are they massive compare just, they compare yeah. them and you could see the difference they're they're very different yeah so and then x-ray being an actual x-ray girl you know she pointed out a bunch of things that should have been there that weren't there and that were there that shouldn't have been there so that was interesting yeah yeah six fingers oh. is, a, is a recessive gene it's a recessive gene and there is a part uh, i can't remember what what country it's in help me chat <clears throat> but there is a portion there is a india? part of a country it's i don't think it's india i want to say it was like brazil um where uh, like a town where a bunch of them have six fingers yeah we yeah right chat so is that is, is that a is that part of that dna strand like you were saying earlier adam it's, in it's one so of far in the past it's still with us right. that thread <clears throat> that maybe sometimes just kind of yeah, alabama. <laughs> it's not alabama that's two heads okay <laughs> i did drive through alabama those yeah. i saw a lot of <laughs> a lot of is that, where the is that where the economist is located <laughs> they just they just put that article out that said it's okay to date your cousin yeah, it's okay. To or date dating your cousin. your cousin isn't that bad. Isn't that like, bad? Yeah. What? Bro, stop. <laughs> Ask Kevin Bacon. Stop married it, is. So. Wait, what? Wait, what? I didn't know that. No, it's a, oh it's god, urban, urban legend. I don't know if it's actually true. <laughs> all right, all right. 
was like, wow. Oh, forbidden Frontier over here. Open up mine. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Bacon. Well, hey, uh, uh, we could go down. Uh, this this is a rumble episode. We can go down the road of how many, uh, uh, how the presidents are all kind of related. Related, yeah. All but one. Rela- related to royalty. And uh, we could definitely go down that road someday. Gary and Goss, it was like a ninth, right. a ninth grader who did it. He was a ninth who, grader. Really? That's right. Uh, That's yeah, it was a ninth grade. Ninth grader did a school project and like connected them all. Like Obama's like, even related. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The heck? Yeah. Just Trump. Trump's the only one. The oddball. Trump's out. the only one. Yeah. Yep. He's not part of the he's bloodline, a, and that's that's weird. he's the odd, in. oddball out. That's that's interesting. I'm really happy mm-hmm. David Tennant decided to call out Trump on the Baptist today. Fucking Tennant just fucked his yeah. legacy, man. Stop. Not for that. It, for for Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the whole. I have no idea what you're talking thing. about. And David, the Baptists are the British Academy Awards, basically. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I think they do TV too, so it's kind of like a Golden Globes, but it's more prestigious. And all okay. cringe. And uh, David Tennant has a trans kid. So, oh Weird. wow! So many they don't exist. Mm. No, they don't. Um, so. but uh, somehow celebrities, a bunch of them have them. They, they keep, all yeah, seem like to have them. Accessories. It's like they buy them at a store oh. to outdo like a, each yeah, other. Like a purse. Pump. I have two trans kids. I have three trans oh, well. kids. I have two bi- non-binary and four trans kids. Of course, they're all raised by a nanny, and they're going to be drug addicts by their eighteen. I ha- I read We're a dead. horrifying letter from um, someone who doesn't want to be named, but they sent me their child is in a is in a school, and their school straight up sent them this letter, and it was basically saying we're now going to teach your child about gender ideology. And they might they might come home asking questions and we're going to tell them that their gender isn't what like straight up saying verb like they're going to we're going to indoctrinate your child. And I'm just like like this well, is in, we, this is insane. Our, our society is not going to survive uh, the meteor. We're going to talk about comet. that tomorrow, Garrett. On, yeah, uh, yeah we're not going to survive it. It's just not. The other it's societies crazy. were because they weren't. They, they weren't Home busy school. worried about genders. They were like levitating rocks, giant fucking rocks, which I'd rather do, to be honest. That, with that'd you. be we also didn't have a giant power grid that everybody's uh, relying on. So, point. Well, my house is ready for it. Do you know we don't pro- we do not protect our transformers at all from the possibility of what? an electromagnetic pulse. Do you know they can come from space? You know, uh, oh yeah, you know Russia's doing that. Yeah. Why? You know, Ru- Russia's trying to. It's for against satellites, but because okay. we need to fight climate change and we need to tr- transgender kids. That's why. The Micronova's coming. I mean, how are the kids going to vlog on TikTok without a power grid? I'm just asking. You might yeah. want to think about that. Think about the kids. You know, when I when I see... I, the, the thing I was watching all day today was uh, the Stuckman thing about, like, you can't be mean to movies and the debate that started. Stop. That's gone crazy. Yeah. Um, and somebody goes, you don't know how hard it is to make a movie, so you can't critique it. It's like, okay, don't critique... Uh, the president anymore you don't know how hard it is to be a president you don't know how hard it is to be a senator you know that uh, uh the waitress you just pitched at you don't know how hard it is to be a waitress just don't say anything yeah. shut the fuck up i don't <laughs> need to know how hard it is to make a steak but i know if it tastes good or not you know uh well the, the whole crux of the argument was you can't blame them their studio interference which i agree okay take your name off the phone you know what don't suck the tea to the corporation go out and make your movie yeah. on your own most of oh. us don't shit on independent filmmakers. I don't, you know. It's true. Like even when Stuckman comes out with his movie, I'm not going to shit on his movie. It's his first movie. It's his very yeah. first movie. That wouldn't be fair, you know. It's like that people aren't going to be great coming out the gate. So, uh and you need to be part. able to critique in a negative way. Like even like for the Stuckman argument, you can critique in a negative way but not be a dick. You know, like you can give that, constructive no, point. criticism. You, you can critique right? in a positive way. Yeah, even like, if it's hey, negative. Y- there, these are ways that you could improve this next time. You so, could do that. So, yeah. so or that. I didn't like this. All the people who critique Graham Hancock, and and like he does bring a lot of it on himself because he will dedicate even his talks like first way too long, yeah. about bitching about archaeologists and stuff. But like, yeah. 
it's true you know they could just say hey they could have a, a decent conversation about it. it's like his stuff i don't agree with this stuff but you know like michio kaku goes on ancient aliens and all this stuff that guy's a yeah. renowned scientist and uh he doesn't shit on anybody he, he's able to do it to have a, like an open conversation about it you know yeah. travis taylor you know I, I, hey travis taylor it was 300 yards above the mesa uh the anomaly Where are the rockets get more rockets shoot get him in the sky rocket. i love rockets um that you know, drone's he's a, dying he's an astrophysicist <laughs> like he's a, i'm feeling you know, i'm not feeling good and I, I was go i would go back and watching it and in the first episode he like thought this was all this is all bullshit <laughs> he's like mm. i i forgot how hardcore he's like this is just bullshit <laughs> then then he starts getting sick and weird things happen there you go mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but uh yeah there's a way to to have this debate and when people try to shut down graham so much or us or whatever it's like wow you don't even want to talk do you you just don't even want to talk because uh because the politics is settled the mor- morality is settled the science is settled there ain't fucking nothing settled no, absolutely nothing. fucking nothing is settled. Okay. So that's why we talk about this stuff. And, and it, you know, it's going to be weird on you. I, I, I was expecting YouTube to be fucking horrible by now. And it's kind of not, it's not great. They make yeah. mistakes. They still fuck yeah. shit up, but it's not like it was 2020. If you guys remember 2020 on YouTube, especially around, and we, we still got to wait till October, mm-hmm. November, October, right. November locked down. It was fucking yeah. locked down. It was yeah, the I weirdest got, thing I've ever I seen. I got my first strike. Yep. No, yeah. uh, I, I've told the story before, but um, end of October through November didn't gain or lose a single subscriber. You just it never like, happened. It can happen. <laughs> it can't. It just so they, they obviously locked it down. What's going to be bad is they have fewer people there now. And uh, so the, the the bot the algorithms are just going to run it, right? And there's going to be fewer supervision. I heard uh, WDW Pro got fully. I don't know what the story is. I don't know if he got their channel got fully demonetized over nothing. Oh yeah. And it sounds like what happened to Geeks be worse. Gamer. Maybe worse to have it only be bots. Yeah. Oh, I think it is. Yeah. But so far, it's not. Um. And I'm holding out that this year is not as bad as everybody's going to say it's going to be. We'll find out. I hope not. We'll see. <laughs> it's uh, okay. going to be interesting. Argument can sure. be made. I, I don't agree with this argument, but I'm just saying devil's advocate here. Argument can be made after the coup that um, the country was truly split. Now, I don't think those numbers were honest. I don't think anything from the ac- uh, from access media, from the uh, corporate media is real or anything, but argument could be made that the country is pretty split. I don't think it's that split anymore. I don't think it ever I really was don't. As split as it was. Yeah. I think that the media really wanted to portray it as most people were I agree. Going along with yeah. what they wanted. They fortified and they won because they fortified. Correct. Yeah. And now Fact. was this fortification based in truth? No. It was all lies. It was all fucking lies. But people are busy. They don't they don't hyper focus on this stuff. And uh the biggest mistake was the coof. I think they overplayed their hand, pissed yep. off a lot yep. of people who pushed it not, too far. A lot of friends became enemies. A lot of sure. friends became enemies. Yep. Yeah, I mean, there could be this. I don't even want to say it, but there could be that. But I, I, I ain't falling for that shit. You? No way. Yeah, no way. Didn't fall for the first one. Not falling for the second one. <laughs> Come on. Yep. Uh, yeah. I just had my what? My this is my first real cold since COVID. Really? I'm already on the mend. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and this isn't even I COVID. I get sick all the freaking time. Oh, you got kids. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in my mom's basement disease all the pots. time. Uh, in, in a room infest <laughs> in a room infested by toys, somebody said on, on Twitter today. <laughs> I guess you, you could describe it as infested. It was an infestation it's of toys. It's just lousy with toys. All right, let's get to some... Uh, Soups. But yeah, you got. Uh, did you say that ten minutes ago? No, you said it five minutes. So no, you got five I, minutes. Okay. Yeah. So my guest bedroom <laughs> is kind of like right around the corner from where my office is, and my mom is sleeping right now. So I, I kind of feel bad. I've been laughing and shit. I mean, I can't help it because we have fun. We um, do. But I can't really stay late tonight. So 
No, no. We well, sleep. I, 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 it's going to be sorry. It's a little bit of a shorter show tonight because uh, we're we'll do. You know what? Next no, week, part, next week, let's continue the subject. I think we should definitely and bring okay. X Ray Girl in. She yeah, have her okay. input too. Well, and I'll be able to like remember stuff <laughs> and do a little more studying. Yeah. Sorry again, folks. The show must go on though. Yeah, it's a really it, interesting subject though. It's uh, there there's is. a lot in it, and it's uh, it's really fascinating. Yeah. Dig more into the Book of Enoch. Because I feel like we yes. kind of... Like, well, yeah. And, and I, I book barely of even got into that at all. Just kind of a descriptor Same. of it. I want to actually kind of read into it. So when mm -hmm. I first heard of the Book of Giants, I'm like, that's bullshit. That somebody just made that up. But supposedly it's from the, the Dead Sea Scrolls. It was, and it's yeah, pretty Dead Sea Scrolls. Lore. Yeah. I'm, I can't wait for Dune 2. I'll be honest. I'm looking forward to it. I can Dune see it in... Awesome. Part 1 days. was awesome. Four days? I probably have to wait a few weeks. Avatar comes out in, That's right. in, in four days. Avatar Thursday. Avatar Last, Last Airbender. Airbender. Yeah. Oh, that Netflix. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sure, sure. So there's stuff coming out, and then March we get the American Society of Magical Negroes. I've got that circled on my calendar. <laughs> um, Dune the popcorn course. ready, <laughs> ready, ready. <laughs> uh, Little chocolates. Because you Hail have to have cannot stay long tonight. Uh, going to see Dune 2 fan first screening. Hell yeah! Uh, but Gary, you should call your book The Winds of Winter. I really should. I really, <laughs> really should. I'll do it myself. <laughs> I really should. Uh, old Preston Jacobs uh, is doing a fanfic and putting together chapters. Yeah. Interesting. It's not bad. Interesting. Yeah, bad. I used to watch all of his videos back oh, when he, I he gave a shit about. I don't know why. I know, but yeah. Well, his lore stuff is pretty interesting. I think it's like way off on stuff, but I think it's still interesting. And yeah. uh, Lightbringer too. Uh, David Beers, the uh, Lucifer Lightbringer. His his lore stuff I like more because it's he he leans more into the magic and stuff. So mm. so I like it more. The Earth is flat. Well, um. There, uh, they just uh, SpaceX just put out, or no, some company that's doing the commercial space flight did some test that Robert Meyer Burnett just tweeted. And uh, unfortunately, maybe it's just the lens that shows the curvature of the earth. The earth is not flat, yeah, the earth is round. Well, it's more like an egg, yeah. Well, shape. yeah, well, if you take away the water, it looks even crazier. Uh, Andrew Matthews, can you do an episode on the Lost uh, City X-Ray Girl? The Lost City well, X-Ray Girl? I, I, is that a city we don't... I've never heard of. Hmm. We should that's, ask her about it. That, that's we'll do some investigation. Mark about, okay. Uh, <laughs> WG is gifted five Neurotic Live memberships. Hail hey, WG. WG. My oh, brother. See you at Cosmic Summit. When is that, by the way? Cosmic, cosmic June Lai? June Lai? Cosmic. June Lai? It's, it's one of the J months. Can't what are the J months? Uh J G uh G G J J God. See, that's how bad. It's a member for nine months. Hey. J G Wentworth. Wait, what? Yeah. Buster Nut Smash for $25. Hell. June. Early June or late June? Mid. So it's June. right after um, June 15th, 16th. Contact in the desert, which I have to go to because Tom Jane's going to be there. Yeah. I was reading today about the bodies of giants found in cave systems in Death Valley. Uh, the area they were found is now government owned land figures. Yes. Mm. Well, uh, mm. like the Grand Canyon. Damn government. There was another place. Uh, I think I wrote it down somewhere. Uh, uh, psychotic it, Mongoose. Thank you for gifting one know. Neurotic Live membership. What's that? The government locks down anything they find that they don't want us to know about. It happened. There was a couple instances of that, that in my research, but I, I didn't write it. I thought I wrote it down. I thought I didn't. Anyway. No, our government's out of control. Oh, yeah. It's just classifying everything now. All governments. Classify it all. 
apartment. Uh, oh, natives in Burks and butt flaps built the mounds with deer antlers and woven baskets. Silly goose. I know. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Like, okay. Oh, by the way, who did uh, okay. who were not aware of this thing called math, but somehow they accidentally lined up all the mounds to the stars. So they were aware of astrology and engineering, which means they had to know math to lay that out to level it like people okay so it isn't just like building a mound they leveled an entire like square mile with deer bones with deer think about the cost of that the the sheer calorie cost of doing that if you have to eat a lot the whole time you got to be still surviving in other ways the calorie cost of getting that many buckets of dirt plus Exactly. You have, you have to have a, a, a food surplus to have skilled workers. All right. That is throughout history. That is a constant. You know, the cathedrals. Randall loves to talk about the cathedrals uh, from the from the uh, Middle Ages or 1300s, something like that. It's not Middle Ages, but 1300s. You know, there's a bunch of these fucking amazing cathedrals, stuff they can't equal today, a stained glass that they don't even know how they made it. It's like perfect stained glass was great and then everybody stopped one day mm-hmm. everybody just stopped. pencils because, down yep uh it wasn't a strike i don't think it was a strike this it went through a famine possibly a famine plague had a bad crop yield and probably from some sort of cataclysm volcano yeah. oh. you know mm-hmm. micronova m- m- micronova meteor in the ocean air burst. comet in the ocean air burst right cow farts i don't know uh the sing it's probably not calf arts, to be honest with you. uh the singing tigs for ten dollars what if modern giants like andre the giant are distant descendants of nephilim and our modern diet and the way of living longer supports giants and results in the body shutting down instead of growing i think no longer supports giants i think that it makes sense it makes yeah. a lot of sense actually you know the fluorinating the water the i don't know yeah. just the way that we've built society that we don't have to move around as much anymore the thing about uh, like the world's tallest man he had nerve issues like he couldn't feel his fingers and his toes because the nerves weren't they just like were so stretched because the growth was so large so it's like our bodies can't sustain that but what if we were on a different planet mm. different gravity mm-hmm. right like I remember the, the, giants, sustain that. the giants wasn't gigantism from the, it was just bigger people they right. were well they were evenly proportioned they were yeah. stronger they can run faster uh, it, a force to be reckoned with uh men of renown uh hey gary have you watched uh the emesis blue i have not andre c28 for 19.99 but i will emesis blue american society of magical nephilim from western civilization for ten dollars yes that. I would watch it too. That would be an That's, interesting. Sounds watch. like a good movie. Uh, the Earth is flat. Space is fake. God is real. Red, red for five dollars. Well, we are definitely going to do the simulation theory. We're going to go down that rabbit hole. Look, just ask anyone around the globe. Just a- <laughs> as- yep. Uh, for verification reason- reasons, traditional cr- uh, Christianity can't call Enoch. A- Uh, a canon text because of our manuscript evidence only goes back to Ethiopia outside of the biblical period. This could someday change. So, Oh, that's good. Thank you. That's yeah. It's good. Gary, stop being a boomer and do a show on cryptids already. We did. We just did an episode of. Yeah. My favorite is the Mothman and the stories uh, around point pleasant. Great show as always guys. Totally. Uh, I I think so. We should, we should do one uh, on the Mothman and, and kind of all the connections around that as well. Totally. Sounds Somebody good. suggested we should do an episode on consciousness as well. Yeah. Well, like, like that. I, think, I think that would be really cool. What is I it? like that a lot. All right, Adam, you can go. It's yeah. Time for you to Thanks, go. guys. Thanks, Alrighty. buddy. My mom's here for a couple more days. We're going to go. Uh, it's fine. All the snow's finally melted. Probably going to go bike ride tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Cheers, everyone. Have fun. Cheer it. I'll, I'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. I got uh, base F Monday tomorrow night, and my mom's joining. So come uh, meet my mom. She's awesome. Hey. hey. All right. I'll see y'all next time. All right. See, see, you, man. see you, buddy. Yeah, it's going to be like, uh, it was freezing last night, but it's going to be 85 in two days. 
Summer's already coming, man. I'm not it's ready. Not, for it's it. coming. It is on its way. I think we had our last two cold days. Um, it. My friend Ray Ping Yu says he's innocent. <laughs> innocent of what? Ray Ping Yu says he's innocent. Well, yeah, I know what his name is, but what is he holy innocent fuck. of? What about holy fuck? Was that his lawyer? Yeah. Some Ting Wong. <laughs> we, too we too low. We too low. Bang Ting Ow. That's my favorite one. <laughs> Bang, Bang Ting Ow is the best one, dude. <laughs> it is so good. Haunted Cosmos has a great video on the topic uh, with mm. biblical understanding. Ooh. I think he took a shot at us for not having biblical understanding. I'm just kidding, Corey. It's all good because we don't, don't have it at all. Don't have it. I have a uh, I have a Bible and I still don't have a biblical understanding. Oh uh, uh, no, I barely have an understanding of of anything right now. Okay, <laughs> just <laughs> I'm hanging in there, man. Uh, send a highlighted message as a member. That's all it says. <laughs> it says Vertigo for those different ones. There you go. New member, Bazil578. Hail. Josh Kelsey drops 20, walks away because he's Chad Kelsey. Chad Kelsey. Hail. Uh, Simon Cuff has become a member. Hail. Thank you. Uh, New traveler. Welcome. Melodic method for $10. Hail. When are we getting a dedicated Forbidden Frontier channel? Soon as this one hits 100,000. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe out there. That's our goal. We're at 93. We're at 93. Two something like Point that. Point two. Yep. So I actually, you know, we probably need to sub beg more because you know, if I think if we do some clips and we throw them up, yeah, that might get us there faster. But we're like almost the there. Um, and this will turn into Forbidden Frontier, and then the Nerdrotic Nooners will go to Nerdrotic Daily. And then if I ever do like a live reaction to a TV show that's not on the main channel, it'll be on <clears throat> excuse me, Nerdrotic Daily. Unsubbed, how dare you? messed up that's mean but we Just probably mean. deserved it we probably deserved it to be probably. honest with you uh ever since i found out that the cia invented gangster rap i am convinced that we're living in a simulation boromir son of gondor five dollars cia man yeah they, they started uh the hippie movement too yep uh humans were shorter in ancient times six two is a giant says simon hope that is true that is true. Yeah. Could these giants actually be people suffering from glandular disorders like uh, pituitary, pituitary pituitary tumors, but they had a way to treat those tumors in the past? Maybe. Basile, 578. Uh, love the Art Bell t-shirt. Yes. I want Boy. that shirt. Yeah. I, I put this forth in the chat, the very secret... Uh, discord that we have that i think we should do a book club style art bell listen a thon so every week we listen to an episode we get back here the last like 10 minutes or something we talk about the episode just okay. real quick well we can actually and then we everybody we in the could, chat could do it too we could connect the episode with the subject because he's covered every oh, yeah. single <laughs> subject we cover like, check them oh. off <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, I can't like pass them out. All right, but I I have I have obtained every single Art Bell show ever made. But if I pass them out, that would be illegal, so I cannot do that. Um, you, there is a way for you to do it that's not that expensive, which is what I did to get it. <clears throat> I'll give you a hint. eBay. Uh Thumb things can be purchased back. things can be purchased um and uh i mean like if you're a member of coast to coast am i think you have access to most of his episodes at least the coast to coast not the midnight in the desert midnight in the desert you can find him on youtube how many episodes did he do a week was it like six he, okay. five a week or something or is he it retired once retired a, a lot i know he had three long retirements okay but he would do five episodes a week and then he would do um uh, I'm blanking on the name. The, the show that Whitley Strieber took over on Saturday. So he started. He was doing six. Wow. But then okay. he went to five. Um, then there was the Whitley. What the hell was the Whitley Strieber one called? Why am I? See, this is my brain just killing me right now. The Whitley Strieber Saturday show. A lot of episodes. That he used to do with his wife. Dreamland. Thank you. Dreamland. Dreamland. So there's Dreamland. I don't have Dreamland. 
but I have uh, all the coast to coast ones and I have all the midnight in the desert ones. In chronological order, does it have uh, it like I don't think we have because he was on Sirius XM for a while too. I don't think I have those. I don't know if those are archived at all. <clears throat> but uh, he wasn't there very long. Uh, the Giants of old were real physical, real Giants. Tolkien even said, I didn't invent Middle Earth. I rediscovered it. Yes, uh, Middle Earth is supposed to be, it's it's a made-up mythology that's supposed to take place on Earth. So it's not some different planet or different plane mm -hmm. or anything. It's, yes. it's, it's Earth. Uh, da, 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 da. The more I learn, the more I'm convinced Robert E. Howard was onto something. Uh, Patrick Banks for five dollars. Yes, I think um, both Tolkien and Robert E. Howard um, maybe had some connection to the Akashic Record, but uh, mm. well, also the Atlantis was a big thing back in the uh, late 1800s and early 1900s. A lot of people were looking into it in a biblical sense too so uh the book of enoch may be apocryphal but it was known to the writers of the new testament and possibly quoted in the old testament it yes was. So I don't think it was actually so i don't think you'd call it fan fiction in the bible context Alexander that's what M i was i was trying to find like a <clears throat> no i'm trying to find a good term for it but yeah i think you're right it's not it's not fan fiction a podcast talking about nephilim and giants without uh wendigoon just feels wrong I know. Gonna catch right? up at the double speed. Uh, only thirty minutes behind. Double speed it, baby, like a quartering video. Uh, about Adam's thoughts: cross species breeding, making a uh, giant animals. Maybe Cro Magnum, a uh, man bred with mm. other human species, making giants. Great topic, Hale. Thank you, Caillou yeah. Mall. Five dollars. Nice theory. Here, read this one because my uh, I'm dying right now. Hang on. Ease of the Cripple for $5. Hey, Gary, did you see that minute-long video clip, or sorry, clip of Grace saying not a lot of girls read comics and diversity hires are ruining these comic book movies? Did Is that AI? It? I did not see that. Somebody needs to send that to me. Rob Cortez for one ninety nine. One ninety nine. Abraham Lincoln was a vampire hunter. He was. That one already? We did this one already, but we're almost showing. Oh, uh, we did Black Cloud. Yes. Oh, you no, do wait, it. Show it. You, you got you it. Do okay. it. You, you, you do it. You take over. Thank you, Black Cloud. <clears throat> Andre C twenty eight for nine ninety nine. Do you believe in multiverses? Yes. 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 Absolutely. Bath Foolery for five dollars in East Tennessee. Several mounds were flooded and covered with TVA. Created the leaks or the the lakes TVA. That stand for a time variance agency. <laughs> no, I can't imagine the history lost. Yeah, that there was a lot of that. Um, who was talking about one of the created lakes recently? It was it was on Vets Talking. I did a podcast last night with Vets mm -hmm. Talking, and he was talking about uh, the lake that uh, he spent a lot of time around and how it was created. And there were cities there at the time, and they had to uproot. And move before the the lake came in and covered it all up. I bet that happens all the time. Yeah, all, that all the lakes in Texas are are man made. So what's under those? Yeah, the there's a lot of man made lakes. Yes. Uh, Blabs the Tower Tard for ten dollars. <laughs> Wheel of Time has an event from our time being mytho mytholo mythology and the book like lean flying to the moon in the belly of the angel. And Eagle. his oh Eagle, sorry. And his daughter and his daughter Sally. What? Salia. Salia. Who weed Oh, John Glenn and Star. Sally Ride. Okay. Who? Sally Ride. She was an astronaut. Ryan a lot, lot, lot about Sally Ride. Alexander M for ten dollars for Adam from one Enoch. You have been in heaven, but all the mysteries had not yet been revealed to you. And through the mysteries, men are women and men work much evil <laughs> they shared incomplete knowledge we i, I would like to do a, a book of enoch read i'd like to read into yeah because i just kind of scratched the sur surface today of doing research and i was like i need to read this more because it's it's got a lot of really cool stuff in it 
Uh, where are we next? Lord Botha for nine ninety nine. My grandmother always believed that Nephilim is where we got mythological creatures and figures from, like Hercules, the Cyclops, and etc. etc. I I agree with that too. This was simply other creatures' explanations for them. Yeah, I think there's a lot of crossover. Yes. It's me. Member for eight months. Thank you. You should check out Dr. Michael Heiser and his work on the bi biblical account and the Elotham. Elotham? Elohim? Elohim. 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 Watchers, etc. The spiritual realm. Uh, yeah, I like the spiritual realm. It's very interesting. David Nelson for four ninety nine. Homo erectus are the giants. That's what that video was saying. the The Y files. The Y kind files. Of, one, yes, was kind of saying that. Kind of saying that. Uh, Bionic Sasquatch for five. Women and angels produced Nephilim, and women and Nephilim produced giants. Perhaps. Oh, oh saying that it's separate. Yeah. Women are always the problem, aren't they? Kidding. <laughs> Melodic method for ten dollars. The meek shall inherit the earth is meant to be those who know how to draw swords, fight and kill. But those not to draw them, but chose not to draw them, shall rule with wisdom. Yeah. It's kind of like turn the other cheek kind of thing. It's like you got the power to Well, it's called being an adult. It's called showing restraint, choosing your battles. Yes. These weeboos for one ninety nine, Apache Chief from Super Friends and the Pilgrims. That's right, Apache Chief from Super Friends grew. He was giant. Yeah, he's a giant man. Heron, member for one month. I'm ready to start learning how to levitate rocks. Me too. Be fresh, be front. Me too. I spent a lot of time trying to levitate stuff with my brain when I was a kid, but it never happened. Nope. Sadly, there's a secret I don't know. IJC, remember for 11 months, woo! Woo! Is that like yeah. a... There? Medieval syphilis for $5. Uh, Van Buren was the oddball president, not Trump. They're all British while Baron was Dutch. Thank you. There you go. Crypto Cat for 10. Do you think the Smithsonian received giant remains and destroyed slash hide them or is that BS? I think uh, that's a possibility because we know that the Smithsonian absolutely has destroyed slash hid stuff. We know nonprofit bureaucracy that is connected to the government is fucking terrible at keeping records and filing. Yes. That's why it is possible for a cabal uh, to rule yeah. us all because of the massive incompetence of our bureaucracy. A lot of people say it can't happen because of that. I'm saying it does uh. happen because of that. It's a lot of shit you can hide for. It gives you a lot of plausible deniability. Incompetence. And, incompetence. Uh, you know, just taking advantage of situations. B-Chain, three, one, five for ten. Another fun show. Thanks, gents. Thank you. I'd Cheers. love a future episode of Various Cryptids. My favorite being the Beast of Gavwanda. Gavwanda? I don't know that one. Loch Ness and Lake Champlain Lake Monster. That's a lot mm. like I think like Loch, Loch Ness and the Champlain Monsters. Well, the Champlain has a like a good picture of something big. Could have mm -hmm. been just a big catfish, but it's big. Jersey Devil's also very good. Yep. E. Clay Thompson for five. I do not mean to pry. But you do, you don't by any chance happen to have six fingers. Oh, fingers on your right hand. I think so. Gary, he's off camera. You can't tell. What? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. What are you talking about? Uh, sport motor for two. When are you going to unsubscribe, Gary? Huh? When are you going to go on unsubscribe? Unsubscribe the podcast that is uh, I was gonna say to who? done. That's done. Uh, it's got uh, Donut Operator and Brandon Herrera. When they when they ask me, it's in San Antonio. It is in it is in San Antonio. It is. You need to get that connection going. Uh, Hayden seventy five. Donut Operator and I have chatted a couple times. Really? 
Yeah. Like on yeah. DM, just in DMs. Like, what's up? Yeah, you know? I love the whole crew. I watch that yeah. show. I got uh, sucked into the Fat Electrician channel, watching all their stuff. His stuff's really good. Hayden75 for 20. Thank you, Hayden. My Papa Joe was 6'8", had a lot of problems later in life with height yeah. and stuff, yeah. but still lived to be 86 years old. Holy shit. You guys are from Texas. You're forgotten uh, about second winter. That will come in late March or April. I don't know what you're talking about. Winter in Texas. It, it's it, really rain, it rains like a mofo. Yeah, oh, it does. I love the rain, though. Love the rain. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I see it way more here than I did in California ever. Mr. Dangs for uh, 99 Canadian syrup coins. That's what I call them. Dwayne W for 10. Gary, check out moving on D+. Marvel sucks at superheroes, but apparently Cora doesn't. Also, shop for killers. A little help for when the Hollywood well has dried. It has dried up. It is. It, we are there. Uh, Dr. John- Fauci's prison butt <laughs> for five. I would. Uh, he follows me on Twitter now. So, have you thought about interviewing John B. Wells? Uh, he has a show called Caravan to Midnight. I was mm-hmm. one of his earliest subscribers, by the way. I was so pissed when he left. Fuck. Well, he got he got canned from coast to coast because he made George Snorri look bad. Uh, his Sorry. ratings were better, and George Snorri got him fired because his ratings were better. And he was based. Uh, to me, he's an apparent. He's oh, sorry. A, he is the heir apparent to Art Bell. He is. He's a great interviewer. He's got the voice. He's got the mind for it. And uh, yeah. No, I, I'll I'll reach out to him. I'll have uh, I'll reach out to him. He follows me on Twitter. I, you know, I don't know what that means, but I love the guy. Uh, Nancy, Nancy for four ninety nine. You want to do it? No, you do it. Okay, I'm I'm dying here. <laughs> <laughs> the power industry calls its geologic disturbance and uh, causes sorry causes and NARC, NERC N-E-R-C, has requirements NARC. for protecting against MGD. MGD. Lots of active work is going on in this area. What's MGD? Geo ma- geomagnetic disturbance. Uh, I don't know if, if maybe she's. Is it like fracking? To... No. I, I, like the poles causes. might be. There's something going on with our magnetic field, but like that happens. But it's it's, and and the sun's is about to flip, but that happens a lot. Now Scary. is there? It could be connected to earthquakes and stuff like that, but. JV, sure. member for 11 months. Glad to see you survive vets talking. I did. I told you guys my secret. Glasses of water and vomiting before you go to bed. Uh, David Nelson for 199. 199. Can you do a show on a the Coral, Coral Castle? Castle. Ooh, yeah. What's that? Coral Castle. Yeah. What's that? The Coral Castle? You've never heard of the Coral Castle? No. Oh, shit. It's in Florida. We should have kind of gone and seen it. It's a uh, it's trippy. Guy did it by himself. Oh, it's, it's made out of heat shells. It's made, it's out, made out of coral, no, obviously coral, but it's stone. So he's dug it out of the ground and he basically used the the megalithic approach. Oh, it's that's cool, dude. Megaliths. Big mystery. How some skinny uh, Eastern European guy was able to pull that off. Uh, go ahead. This is the last one. Last one of the night. Matthew Hammond for 199 The Tennessee Valley Authority and the creation of the dams around the Tennessee River. Dams. Uh, sorry, I just read. The dams. The dams. Uh, there were several places that were flooded to make it happen. There are arrowheads along the banks and a museum. All right, I've got some. Uh, we'll see that. I didn't know we had our Streamlabs link up, but some Streamlabs came in, so I'm going to read them. Okay. You ready? Welcome to the Big, member. Bigfoot. $25 says, saved a chipmunk from drowning in a stream today. Hashtag not all heroes wear capes. This is true. Well done. Good job. Good job. Uh, Chupacabra for $25 says, hola vatos. Long time lurker. First time super. Thank you, bro. Just keep it real, they say. Uh, letting you all know we're going to have more sightings of me kind of soon at the border. Uh, it's, being it's what it is lately anyway until later adios amigos adios uh, lord more for five dollars love the show if you check out the black vault 
for Mars anomalies. I like that, the channel of the Black Vault, by the way. Second page, third one. Uh, I'm sorry, the website. Uh, and you'll find an official satellite image from Mars on what happens to be a crashed disk of some kind. Yeah, you know what? We got to uh, remind me to do this. Mike Barra. We got to get Mike Barra on right sooner than later. Mike. I'll, D I'll DM him and see if he's got a date open. Uh, Mr. McKimmick for $1.99. I apologize now. I am both poor and verbose. That's a, okay. Thank you. The, uh, did, why do you, do you and never apologize for leaving a donation? <laughs> like ever. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We appreciate it. Therefore, this is your harder money, but I must link a question as I cannot afford the super chats necessary to ask it normally. Here's the link. Okay. X-ray girl can verify. She's not here though. That's the problem. So I'm going to have to link it. Hang on. Give me just a second. I am uh, linking now. Oh my God. This is long. We're going to have to do this uh, next. Was episode. it a dick pic? No, no, <laughs> but it's, God, it is long. It's an article. It's like an article. Oh, okay. Okay. We need to do so, some studying. So, so yeah. So just save this and we'll do it next show. We'll read it next yeah. show with X-Ray Girl here. If I wasn't sick and about to like pass out, I'd do it right now. Okay. So we'll do it next show. Mr. McMimic. Mr. Gentleman for a dollar. Uh, this is part one of two. No, Garrett. The second theory is the sons of God and Seth's descendants, the sons of men, are Cain's. Thus, by Seth's line, marrying corrupt women those damn corrupt women they're bringing in immortality into their families read in context uh this would lead to the need for a flood okay but i okay. side with firmly with uh either i don't side firmly with either the theory but just saying also yeah. goliath was four cubits one span which is seven feet very tall for when five 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 which is true and the average, it'll be uh, nice if this panel had biblical expert because Garrett ain't cutting it. Damn, bro. Okay, shit. Hey, <laughs> we understand. We're not experts. We're not biblical experts. It's cool. I've we're read the Bible up, a few times. I'm just gonna. But uh, where I got most of my information from is a guy from who is a bi biblical expert. You might mm -hmm. not like his his summations of it but it's la marzulli is a christian and he comes up very much from the christian point of view and that's where i that's the thing i watched today but uh, thank you mr gentleman i will uh smack garrett down for not being a biblical expert <laughs> you son bitch no thank you <laughs> Odin 79 for five dollars there are two enochs in genesis one is the line of seth and the other is the line of cain's son other uh other thought after watching the Y files, Neanderthals video, I wonder if they were the Nephilim. I that it really felt like that's what they were hinting at. Um, but that was a really interesting video. Yeah. A lot of good AI art. Shad would have been proud. Azorbu. And they do the voices. I don't know. How do they do those voices so perfectly? God, you guys are great. High production value. They're gonna be a 10 million subs by next yep. year. Yep. I, I I know a small grays don't look alike, but we're scrappy. Got into a tussle with a Nephilim once. Not impressed. Told him to take his little dick energy back to New Jersey, and we probe him a second time. Uh, what <laughs> second a cryptid, time. Uh... What a, a second time. What a cryptid sexual. Hashtag probing giants. And that's from Zorbu for $25. Hey. Zorbu, what's on? The frozen one for $5. If you really want a rabbit hole channel to go down to the truth of debunking the origins of humanity by academia and all other things, occult, Atlantis, giants, etc., you should check out the Robert Sapir on YouTube. And that's S-E-P-E-H-R, Sapir. Uh, Echthelion the second for $15 says, hey, humans have descended from the Shagoths. Uh, from the Shagoths, remember? The Shagoths were created by the old ones. Thank you. And that's it. And one more. We do. Albert Nada retro for 10 Canadian. So motion to Texas. I think you mean moving. Moving to Texas is good if you like, uh, if you love a rainy night. You love a rainy night. Twice. 
Love you love to hear the thunder night. and I watch love the a rainy night. That's so oh, okay. The yeah. light. I can't see. I can already. Love to hear the thunder. I have watch difficulties reading, but comprehending is a whole other thing. Yeah. It, the um, the thunderstorms are freaking great here. They're awesome. It, it's here. so awesome. They're really loud. They will shake the fuck out of your house. They will knock over action figures. My favorite. My favorite. Yeah. Nancy for one nine nine geometric. Magnetic disturbance, our solar flares. Our solar flares. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, Thank I you. misinterpreted. Yeah, so um, we're really fucked if that, like, that, all of our transformers should have been protected by now. Now, some that's, are underground. That's ridiculous. Okay, but the fact that some aren't and we would lose power for months, our civilization would fall. It would fall. That's Yeah, that's enough. That's why uh, I'm looking for a generator. You're gonna get me a generator. I mean, a good idea. Be a good idea. That's it. Thank you, Nancy, with an I for a dollar ninety nine. Appreciate it. Uh, that's it for Forbidden Frontier this week. Uh, we're gonna continue this conversation next week. We're gonna do some more because I like I love the subject and I can watch documentaries and videos on it all f and day, and I probably will. But I'm gonna go have some tea and probably some rest. Pass out. Yeah, some rest. Because uh, it's back to it tomorrow, whether I'm healthy or not. So, yeah. Get back to it? Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Uh, take that back. <laughs> I take that back. We'll, we'll see how it goes tomorrow. What do you got coming up, dude? Uh, Nothing much. Just uh, normal world is yeah. back, baby. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Dave is back from his Vegas trip. And uh, I'm sure we're going to be talking about some weird stuff, as always. Base dude, he Dads was, is tomorrow. Go he ahead. was headlining at MGM. Yeah. Got a big old picture of his face. Yeah, dude. On the strip. That's Pretty fucking cool. awesome. Pretty cool. So proud um, So, uh, Base Dads tomorrow on Adam's channel, where we hang out and talk crap as well. And then after Base Dads, I've started doing streams, uh, playing Resident Evil Remaster. And uh, hating myself, because the camera is horrible. Yeah. But that's it. Okay. What are you doing? Uh, Top Gear watch party for members tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. with Mahler and Heel versus Baby Face. Working on something special for Wednesday. This, the Chris Stuckman argument that Jay Longbone started on Twitter has turned into quite the debate in the movie sphere. So really? we're working on something for Wednesday. A special. A special. I'll keep it once we get everything planned. I'll let you know. It'll be in place of the nooner. Okay. So we're going to do something in place of the nooner with the same people from the nooner. We just got to work some things out. So we're working on that. Real BBC Tuesday on Az's channel. I've got a ton of new comics. Got some Savage Sword of Conan. I really got to move the Superman behind me. Because, like, if I hit him just slightly, he's going to fall over. See this? That's fucking <laughs> awesome. Oh, yeah. 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 Ah, look at that. Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's old, so it disconnected itself from the cover. Okay. You, to get well, down, you can, get in you can actually and... fix that. It's pretty easy to fix. Some glue. But yeah, it's All right, yeah. Sick. And uh, I don't know. Some shows and movies are coming out that I'm going to cover that I'll remember tomorrow. Yeah. Last Airbender is <laughs> coming out. Uh, Dune. Dune, yeah. All right. All right. Catch y'all right. later. Bye bye. Nerderotic.com. Moderotic. Thanks for everyone for traveling the nation. to the fringes of reality, where the strange and mysterious meet, and the thin veil between fact and fiction is torn. <laughs> Welcome to the Forbidden Frontier.